How to access Gmail when blocked by firewall. If you're struggling to access your Gmail account because it's blocked by a firewall, you're not alone. Firewalls can be a real hurdle, especially in work or school environments. Let's break down some practical ways to get around this issue. First, consider using a virtual private network, or VPN. A VPN encrypts your internet connection and routes it through a server in a different location. This makes it look like you're accessing the internet from that location, which can help you bypass firewall restrictions. To use a VPN, choose a reputable provider, download and install their software or app, connect to a server where Gmail is accessible, and then open your web browser to access Gmail as usual. Another method is to use a web proxy. A web proxy acts as an intermediary between your device and the internet, allowing you to browse anonymously and access blocked websites. You can visit a web proxy website, enter the Gmail URL, and access Gmail through the proxy link. However, be cautious with web proxies as they may not offer the same level of security as a VPN. If the firewall is blocking the Gmail website, you can still access your emails using an SMTP email client. Gmail supports SMTP, which lets you send and receive emails through third-party clients like Microsoft Outlook, Mozilla Thunderbird, or Apple Mail. Simply set up your email client with your Gmail account details and configure it to use Gmail's SMTP server. Accessing Gmail through your mobile network is another option. Since mobile networks are usually not subject to the same firewall restrictions as Office or public Wi-Fi, you can switch to your mobile data plan, disable Wi-Fi, and access Gmail using your mobile browser or the Gmail app. Just be aware that this might incur data charges, depending on your plan. You can also try accessing Gmail using different URLs. Sometimes firewalls only block specific URLs, so trying uh, mail.google.com, thehuckum.gmail.com, or even googlemail.com might work. Additionally, using the secure HTTPS protocol instead of HTTP can sometimes bypass restrictions. If none of these methods work, you might want to configure your mail program to access Gmail via POP or IMAP. This involves setting up your email client to connect directly to Gmail's servers, which can help you bypass the firewall. For a more advanced approach, if you have the necessary permissions and knowledge, you can configure the firewall settings to allow access to Gmail. This could involve adding Gmail to a whitelist or enabling port forwarding for the specific ports Gmail uses. However, this should only be done by experienced users to avoid compromising network security. Lastly, if you need consistent access to Gmail for work, consider reaching out to your network administrator or IT department to request a firewall exception. They may be able to grant you access while ensuring the necessary security measures are in place. By using one or more of these methods, you should be able to regain access to your Gmail account even when it's blocked by a firewall. Remember to always prioritize security and follow any guidelines set by your organization.